some gaming chairs who knows and uh, yes here is the assembly which i have cut it out from the old buggy the chinese buggy and uh, yes the steering assembly is fitted over here i need to check why this thing is making sound so i need to test test it out but unfortunately i cannot just go ahead and fit this thing over here because uh, this has got 6 bolts and this only has got 3 bolts so i need to make some sort of thing over here to fit this steering on this oh my god this is not bearing this is just bush inside as you all can see let me just turn on the light of the camera as you can see inside this is bush system so Anyways this is going to work because this is not just continuously running item so I can put grease inside and make it work really too close to this but anyways it's going to work and uh, yes this size a little bit bigger than this plate so i have to make it a little bit shorter This is the perfect ball for this thing. I'll just get new and a better one, like stainless steel, and fix them over here. And uh, yes, other than that, it is perfect. 
yes the plate turned out even at the correct size of this thing it's just exactly perfect let's just move on to this now i need to take these bushes out so that i could just cut out the pipe like plate over here and move this completely out and you know the rest of the stuff try to figure out a way to fix on the project the buggy all right guys so this pipe took me nearly nearly 2 hours to get this thing and uh, get the round build it out because i don't have the ruler bender like the ruler in which we can make a long bend so i had to make it with the pipe bender which i have with me it took time but uh, yes i had made it perfect this both are exactly same looking and i have gone inside because uh, i want uh, to do something else over here that's what i have gone a little bit inside from here so now this is almost strong enough to move on was a nightmare and i don't know how in the world i will just make something like the same pipe with the same bend using this pipe bender finally guys got it done but uh, I do agree they are not exactly same but uh, yes the bend over here and the bend over here is not exactly same this is slightly more than this so yes it looks pretty good it turned out great i could add a bunch of stuff over here and the gear box over here which is a pretty good design 
I must say it is looking absolutely perfect. Guys, you are seeing two markings over here. This is the marking which I need to cut and this is the marking which I did off camera but it isn't straight, it just turned uh, like uh, a little bit so that uh, I can sell it up and took this marking so that uh, one side will be the factory cutting on the other side I have to like cut it out. Very dangerous place because uh, the well, the welding is going to come on me. This tag needs to be welded from the bottom so that the sheet could be at the blade place. Alright guys, so let's just test out the sheet like uh, how it is and uh, also test out the shock. I have adjusted them off camera and made it a little bit stiffer so that uh, now it is almost like closing a tiny bit. So let's just test them out. So I have sit it over here I think so they had closed about one inch. I have got more adjust on this but uh, for now this is just the best for me let it be like this and uh, yes the shit turned out amazing now i have got a place where i could just put my feet otherwise i was keeping a plywood or anything until now everything is just great and uh, yes the weakest point is the rear because the shock the shock place is way empty so i need to get that thing like some sort of pipe installed avoiding the engine and uh, everything so let's just jump over to the back and uh, strengthen up the frame a little bit tiny bit Alright guys, so finally I got the X which I knew was thinking for quite a long time but uh, now I had made it. At first I was thinking to make it bolt system so that I could just move it, move this uh, X bracket from here and uh, take the uh, gearbox easily take the gearbox out. But uh, after noticing that uh, I have to move the gearbox like 6, inch for, six inches forward so that uh, I could just lift up the gearbox otherwise it won't be possible. And after looking at that point, I noticed that even from this angle, it's about 6 inches of like forward, I have to move this thing forward. So it's uh, about the same. That's what I had welded this thing over here.
right guys so the whole lot done and uh, even made it round so that uh, it won't hit me i had welded up the nut over here and uh, even tapped the thread like made a hole in the bottom of the pipe and even tapped some thread so that uh, it will not just hold the nut and the welding it will hold the pipe also so both sides the same thing now i can just go ahead and Install it. Finally, guys, we got this thing almost to a position where I can just go ahead and weld up the frame. Yes, there are many other things to be installed. The pedals needs to be installed. I don't have with me. That's what it's not installed. And the gear lever, I have with me the gear lever, but uh, the cables are small enough so that I could, I cannot just. Uh, jump over and install it and uh, yes I need to adjust the gear lever get the gear from a single to double so that I could just uh, install this gear lever over here in this video we almost uh, done like the floor mat the floor is done the floor mat what I'm saying the floor is done and the dashboard is ready it's looking perfect from here as you all can see it's looking perfect and yes, I have corrected the mistakes with the shocks at the rear. Like it wasn't aligned up, so I just aligned it off camera. I didn't do it on camera because, uh, like, doing all the things again and again, I'm showing you guys not to bore you guys. That's what I did this. So, and yes, I have it strengthened up a little bit on the back. I need to strengthen it up more, but what I'm thinking to do is to, like, before adding any more pipes over here let me just get this thing finished up like installing the pedals installing the gear lever and uh, fully well filled up the frame and have a test drive on this thing and see uh, what the engine does or on this big project like this with the tiny engine it's not a tiny engine but it's it's uh, compared to uh, this project that that uh, engine is a little bit smaller but we'll see how it performs and uh, other than that everything is done the shocks turned out great the dashboard turned out great the steering wheel is just working perfect yes uh, this rear end is also done so that's it for the video if you enjoyed it please hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell and uh, Yes, an important announcement about this 2nd December, I'm going to a Dunes in Madam. The link, uh, not the link, the lo exact location is going to be in the description below. Those who want to come and join me over there, you can come and bring your stuff and ride with us. I'm going to take with me the mini Harley bike and also the BMW. These two projects I'm going to take with me to there, to the Dunes and uh, going to ride them and yes before riding them I need to get the mini Harley bike finished up and I have just got like 10 to 12, 15 days with me to get that thing ready and uh, ride them so there are many things to be done with the other projects but that's it for the video hopefully you enjoyed my video Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. What the hell I'm speaking? Oh my god. Really?